Good evening. Thanks for being here. We begin tonight in Shamanus, where the arts scene is boosting the town's economy, just as it did for the first time many years ago when the community became the little town that did. Murals have been drawing tourists to Shamanus ever since, but now there's a new show in town. The latest production of the Shamanus Theatre Festival is A Christmas Carol. In its first week, the show has already been hailed a success, not just on stage, but with local business. A News reporter Steve Coulterman has the story. He joins us now live in our Mid-Island Bureau. Steve. That's in holiday cheer is being, pro being provided by the Shamanus Theater Festival. Not only are visitors to the Cowichan Valley enjoying the spirit of giving, so too are local businesses. That's my soul. Who is that? It is I, the Oracle Scrooge. You've most likely seen the movie and read the book, but as the Scrooge tells us, many are taking in the real life experience. We've been having very, very good houses. Um, it's a, this is a wonderful, intimate theater, and uh, so one's aware of empty seats, and we've been very fortunate up to this point, uh, and hope it will continue. Merry Christmas, Fred. Merry Christmas, Uncle Scrooge! A Christmas Carol will take to the stage a total of 68 times before it wraps on January 8th. Director Mark Dumay says the first week has been a successful one. The audience that we've had have uh, really been pleased. Uh, uh, standing ovations and uh, great kind of um, tuned in to the show. So it feels like it's been a really good opening. The theater produces six main stage shows and three children's shows every year. And that translates into thousands of theater goers and local businesses are benefiting. Lou Rolofson is the general manager of the Best Western Festival Inn. His hotel and the theater team up to offer visitors a more relaxed atmosphere. Theater is a big part of uh, what Shemaneus offers and this time of the year we're getting ready for the Christmas season and the Christmas show and uh, sales are really good. Rolofson noticed a dip in sales in 2009, but this time around there's nothing to complain about. With a staff of 25, the hotel is staying busy. This time of the year for us is strong in all areas. Uh, I guess uh, the leisure is there, the 65 and older that is uh, traveling uh, and that comes to the theater specifically maybe. Across the street from the theater is where you'll find Urban Legends Salon and Spa. They too have experienced a spike in sales, customers wanting to look their best before a night on the town. People who come from all over to go see the theater uh, also come to local businesses, kill time in between, different things like that, so we find them a great asset to the community. Those are just a few examples. Restaurants, boutiques, and other small businesses are also benefiting from the theater's success. So with local businesses working together, it appears there's an economic rebound in Cowichan Valley. The theater festival is also looking to the future. They've released their 2011 schedule. That kicks off on January 28th with a closer walk with Patsy Cline. Next year's shows also feature Fiddler on the Roof. Excellent, Steve, thank you. No problem. Steve Coulterman tonight in Nanaimo.